Welcome everyone to Chilling with Chili Sid. A little while ago, um, I reviewed a sauce for Bruce Ansel from Hornet Chili and it was Red Card Madness. And I left you with a conundrum. So the followers had to vote for which one I was going to do. So we had two choices. We had the Game of Two Cards, which was a red one, and the yellow card warning, which was the yellow one. So all you had to vote was red or yellow. And through um, popular demand, we've chosen the yellow one. So thank you for all those people who voted for it. So today's review is going to be on Hornet Chili's yellow card warning. So it's a football season sauce. So yellow card warning there, beautiful label as you can see. Well, it's a football sauce. So um, I'm not up on my mega, I'm not megaly up on my football, but I do know that if you get a yellow card, you've done something wrong. And if you get two yellow cards, you get chucked off. So basically, I think this yellow card warning is bordering on a bad boy. Okay, seriously, a bad boy. So um, without trying it, I'm giving him um, an image, bad boy image. So Hornet Chili, let's have a look at the bottle. Now the size of the bottle is like the first one we did, easy to hold, easy to shake, easy to handle and I love the label, yeah? Very fresh, bright yellow, very fresh, lovely. So try the sting, oh my god, here we go again. The last one I did was 10 out of 10 sting, now we've gone a notch down, this is 9 out of 10 sting rating. Now on the, in this one, um, let's have a read, so hornetchili.com, uh, we've got orange habaneros, now I, I don't know if you know, but I have two favourite chilies. I love bird's eye, the red ones, and I love habanero. Now, obviously, orange habanero, thumbs up, yeah? So, we've got orange habanero, peach, mango, and pineapple. So, it's a hot, fruity one. Now, we need to try and see if this packs a punch, yeah? The last thing I forgot to say was it contains nuts. It may contain nuts, yeah? So, obviously, be warned when you're using this if you've got an allergy, etc., or if your friends have got an allergy or anybody you know, because that can get really serious, yeah? So, thank you very much for Bruce for sending this over to me. Now, let's just have a quick look at what I like is he's got a little bee there. Can you see the little bee for the sting rating? And then we've got, a, I assume it's a football mask mascot because I'm not up in my football. But again, locally made, the British, down the road from me, not far away at all they are. So, um, right, I'm going to shake this sauce up, give it a good shake. It's actually quite nice, you can hear it. It's not too runny, it's quite a thick one. And the colour is really nice because it's almost mustardy. Now you've got bits floating in there, so you could have, it's probably bits of habanero, the chilli seeds, look. So you can just about make out, I don't know if you can see there, just about make out the little brown chilli seeds in there. All right, so you have got that little bit of crunch that I like. And obviously it's fruity. So, let's have a look, aroma. Wow. I can smell the habaneros. I'm in heaven. I can actually smell the chilies that I like. And do you know what? I can, I can take, smell the mango. Mango. And fruit. So mango, pineapple, that fruity sort of smell. I can't smell any vinegar in there or too much vinegar. So it's a nice blended sauce. Um, sometimes you get sauces that may have vinegar in them and, and sometimes the vinegar overpowers the taste. This one's nicely blended and not overpowering at all. It's fruity and it's hot. So what else is there to do but try this sauce, yeah? So let's see if it lives up to his bad boy um, image I've given it. Let's try and get it out in the spoon. So here we go. Now the last time I had trouble getting it out, so this time I bought myself a cocktail. So look at that. Look how nicely that pours. Look at that, look how nicely that pours. It's really nice. It's a nice, thick, silky sauce. I have to say that's a really lovely silky blend. Um, it's a shiny, shiny looking sauce. It has got bits in it, so it's probably the fruit puree in there. Um, I'm warm, I'm not sweating because I haven't even tried the sauce. It's actually a very sunny hot day in Reading today. Summer is finally here. Things are going. I went to the garden this morning and it needs doing it again. So I'll wait till the heat goes down and get out there again. So I think that's not enough. I need a bit more. I'm going to try and add a bit more. I like to get a good amount of sauce. I can actually feel. Okay, 
can you see that lovely color lovely consistency it's not too runny um now i can actually smell it from here i can smell the habaneros i'm actually in a bit of heaven now well yes nothing for it but getting have a neck ain't right there you ain't wrong there you ain't wrong there nine out of ten definitely nine out of ten now nine out of ten sting i can taste as soon as i put it in my mouth you can taste the habaneros but it's got a fruity punch to it so i can taste the habaneros but i can also there's undertones of mango and pineapple it all comes through it's like a initially you get the heat on, on, tip of my tongue initially i got the heat and then i got the full flavor of the mango pineapple oh my god it's really really nice now i don't do a lot of fruity sauces but this is really nice um being so thick consistency nice thick consistency to, this would be lovely um as a marinade you know i'm a vegetarian but you can marinate your chicken and anything else with marinade um try putting a ma so, so marinate it for a while and then once you've roasted it or barbecued it maybe you can add a bit more to it because it's so so nice and the color is divine because it's not just bright yellow it's like a mustardy silky rich color i would say really nice texture to that and i love the flavor oh my god i'm sweating and that's not the chili now the heat factor bruce said nine out of ten and i believe nine out of ten would be for somebody who doesn't eat as much chili as i do so for me i first felt it on the tip of my tongue and it went like whoa like that, yeah pump but the heat subsided now and it's just a tingling but then again i do eat really hot chilies as you know so for someone who doesn't eat a lot of chilies or is new actually eating that will be a nine out of ten definitely for me i would say it's probably about a one out of ten initially it felt really warm and i thought it would carry the heat on but the heat's dissipated now and i can't taste the heat as much it's a tingling tip of my tongue so it would be all right for somebody who's on a five five out of ten would be good anybody who doesn't eat chili at all uh, take it with caution take it less of it but you know that's the only way you can build your chili tolerance up if you never eat it you'll be like my son number one who doesn't he doesn't even do black pepper we're working on him if you start eating it then you can build that tolerance and you can try different chilies because the flavors of each of the chilies are different habanero is distinctive i love the smell of it i love the taste of it um, I don't know, I just love them. They're the best. So, um, lovely sauce again, very silky. What I like about it is rich. Um, its consistency is thick. It doesn't separate as you can, it doesn't separate out like you can see. It's thick, it's glossy, that's the word. Silky, glossy is the word I was looking for. Um, and lovely marinade. And the seeds on it, the chili seeds that you've got in there, actually might give the, the marinade or the chicken a look like as if it's mustard but it isn't mustard it's chili seeds so brilliant i like that one a lot actually so bruce thank you very much for sending me this and i'm really chuffed for it with it i think i'm going to kind of hide this for me the boys will probably try it because it's not so hot well it might be hot for them but i might hide it somewhere for me um I've got one more left and there's no voting this time it'll be this one that i do next the game of two hearts so we'll give it a bit of time and then we'll do this one okay guys that's an amazing sauce i really like that one i'm giving it a thumbs up beautiful consistency just look at it it's so silky yeah so um if you, thank you for watching there but if you like bruce's sauce today or you like the previous one i did red card madness can you follow the links in the description and order 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 please thank you like this site subscribe thank you very much for watching yay <laughs> god